This is a motor analyzer unit that a friend, Paul Stone, turned me on to at a uh, weird estate sale thing. And I just knew it would be a great fit for the spaceship. We turned it into this interactive control unit that goes in the hidden passage. The hidden passage is supposed to be like a utility space between the inner hull and the outer hull of the spaceship where the alien's taken up residence. So this seemed to fit in really well. It wasn't in great condition when we got it. It was old, really gross. My daughter Animaline helped me clean it up. But it had so much character and these great switches and these cool faded plastic pieces and it just, it was too cool not to use. So I started by gutting everything, removing all the old electronics, cleaning it up, and then one by one started adding light effects to each unit. So this one is a light. It's an old, like, it's an LED, but it looks like a filament light. And one of the switches turns the light on. One of them makes the other knob spin. I just thought the spin effect might be neat. And this is in a space, it's a little dark, so here you can see it with the black light. It looks very different in the space, and some of that's hard to capture on video. So we're showing it to you both with, you know, regular lights and with the dark black light. This second unit on the top row has several things. One is this sound-activated light strip through these little pinhole uh, holes that I drilled in the front. This knob here on the right changes the lighting effect on the left. It also turns on the light in the fuel gauge. This is an old fuel gauge actually at an aircraft. Next to that fuel gauge is a, another aircraft gauge, a suction gauge, that I attached a, a plunger to with this cool old knob that came off some old printing equipment so you can actually move the needle and then added a light to it so in the dark you can kind of see. Uh, again, some of this is hard to capture on video. You'll also notice that throughout all the branding on this, it was originally Allen branded. We changed the branding to Alien. Um, pretty consistently, right there, Alien. It just seemed like a cool brand. So Alien brand made in Kalamazoo. This just changes those, um, those lights that used to be a needle gauge, but I took off the needle gauge and added these LEDs so we could actuate it that way. Here's another one where the um, original needle gauge has been taken out and I added LEDs. One switch cycles through five of the LEDs. Uh, the switch switched over, cycles through another of the five LEDs. And then that far switch on the right also will trigger this deep red glow in one position or a white LED at zero. The idea is people can just go play with it in the passageway. And I think people will enjoy that. There's that red glow. I really like that effect. This middle unit on the bottom, like and subscribe, uh, also has some lighting effects, some of which are hard to see in the dark but that, um, there you go, that multicolored kind of plane across the bottom turned out really well. That switch on the right changes the color of the spinning, um, spinning area cut out of that dial. In person, it's a little bit clearer, but I wanted everything to look kind of faded and dirty. And again, this is supposed to be a utility space. It's not supposed to be super clean and nice. This is the last one on the bottom row. Um, one switch turns on and off the spinning, one switch changes the colors. It's not inherently that complicated, but I think people will really enjoy it. The whole unit has a wash that makes it fluoresce in the black light, and uh, you can see one of the, the daughter aliens sitting on top of it, and that badge along the top also used to say Alan, now says Alien. I'm really happy with how it's turned out. We have a lot more interactives going into the ship as we speak. And I can't wait to show you all more of the progress. Thank you for watching. Come back, like, and subscribe. <laughs>